Good morning. This is Kella Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Sioux Falls Police are investigating a shots fired call from early Sunday morning. It happened just after 2.30 in the area of West Burnside Street and West Avenue. Police say multiple shots were fired during a Halloween gathering outside of the Munchie Grill House. Authorities on scene were interviewing people dressed in costumes. Investigators say they are not aware of any injuries. No one has been arrested. We expect to learn more about the shooting at this morning's police briefing. You can watch it live on Kelloland.com starting at 1030. Police are also on scene Sunday morning in another central Sioux Falls neighborhood for a stabbing. The call came in just before 530 in the area of West 9th Street and Duluth Avenue. Multiple officers were going in and out of the building as part of their investigation. They also put up crime scene tape. Officials say detectives are investigating and will give out more information when they can. We'll keep you updated on both and on air on, and online as we learn more. The Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety is asking for the public's help in finding a man wanted in a deadly hit and run. Authorities say it happened on Highway 18 between Pine Ridge and Oglala. The department says they are looking for 29-year-old Reuben Smallwood. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighs 150 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. If you have any information on where he may be, you're asked to call the Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety. A Montrose, South Dakota man was arrested over the weekend, accused of stealing multiple items. Alcester police say it started at an abandoned acreage just after 3 a.m. Saturday morning. An officer was sitting in the driveway when a vehicle drove out of the acreage. The officer then followed the suspect. The vehicle tried making a U-turn, went into the ditch, and got stuck. Authorities say the suspect admitted to stealing an electronic scooter from the acreage. More stolen items and burglary tools were found in the vehicle. The 52-year-old is facing a list of charges, including burglary and grand theft. Now let's get a check of our Halloween forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. We are looking at a warm Halloween day. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s for afternoon highs. This will happen with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and light winds. And these warm temperatures will continue for the next couple of days before things start to change for this coming weekend. More details ahead on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian. Thank you, Scott. A National Guard helicopter was called out to help crews in the Black Hills battling a wildfire southeast of Hill City over the weekend. As of the latest report, the Palmer Gulch fire is estimated at 91 acres in size and 40 percent contained. The fire was first reported just before 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It is burning near the Black Elk Wilderness. Several trails in the area are closed until further notice. Palmer Creek Road is also closed. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Multiple agencies were called to a bail fire in south central Turner County over the weekend. Hurley Fire says it happened near Swan Lake on Sunday and posted video of the scene to its Facebook page. Viberg, Centerville and Davis Fire along with the Turner County Sheriff's Office also responded. which will say that the bales will continue to burn for a while. Zebra mussels have been found in a northeastern South Dakota lake. Game Fish and Park says they are in Clear Lake which is southeast of Lake City. The zebra mussels were found after inspecting boat lifts in the lake. GFNP wants to remind boaters and anglers to clean, drain, and dry their boats after pulling them out of the water. People are also asked to check docks and lifts when they're removed for the season. Around 1,000 people have stopped by a Halloween display in central Sioux Falls the last few days for some trick-or-treating and an interactive haunt. The Keller family has been doing it for five years in honor of Grandma Lou, who died in 2020. This year's theme is Holly Weird, and they had 31 scary movie references throughout the display. It is, it is the best night of my life. I mean, yes, we've got friends and family that help and neighbors that support us and so many people that um, give us their old props and things like that. It's a great community effort. They will be open once again tonight for Halloween from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It is located just south of Augustana near 36th and Summit. One Kelloland attraction is bringing a less spooky Halloween event to Brookings today. Giggles and Ghouls is happening at McCrory Gardens. The event gives families a chance to walk through a life-size version of the popular board game Candyland and collect treats along each board game square. 
can come and get candy, um, go through the gardens, and um, just have fun. The event is happening from 4 to 6 p.m. and takes around 20 to 30 minutes to complete the walk. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather today, pretty simple forecast here in the 60s and fair skies for most locations. We'll probably pop up a couple of 70s on some of the hourly numbers, like Phillip could hit a high today at about 72. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of that in the James Valley. This evening, the weather's comfortable, about as quiet as it gets for um, Halloween and then getting into tomorrow too. We're back to 70 degree weather. We push some south winds, amplify these temperatures quite a bit in the afternoon. Mid 70s likely in Marshall. Sioux Falls will be every bit of 73. Even on Wednesday, wind uh, 70s, high fire danger though comes into play. We are dry initially as we see our Wednesday weather map. That cold front though will eventually start to tap into some cooler air and uh, maybe some snow chances in the Black Hills on Thursday. That's something there that we'll have to talk about here in the coming days. Initially, this system is pretty starved for moisture, but as we get into Friday, we think there's a, a scenario developing where we can set up some rain from northeast Nebraska, possibly a big chunk of southern Minnesota. And if we can get that rolling, that would obviously knock down our temperatures on Friday. That is the first leg of this developing pattern. We have an opportunity to carve out a little quieter period to start off Saturday. We could make some recovery into the 50s for highs. But then the jury's out on this second system coming out of the south. That actually develops along that front. But what it does is it tries to wrap around some rain here east of the James Valley on Saturday night into Sunday morning. That system, wherever it goes, the probability that it produces some soaking rain is going up. So that's a big deal. I still think Iowa, chunks of Nebraska, Missouri are probably going to get the most of that, even Minnesota. But uh, we'll have uh, more opportunities to explain that one here through the week. So just file that thought in the back of your mind for now. There's your first outlook for rainfall on Friday, primarily around Sioux Falls. And the first look is quarter inch and perhaps a few totals higher. So it is uh, some moisture and after dry fall cycle, uh, we'll be uh, watching all of that. Today, dry weather, Mitchell 71, Brookings 66, Sisseton 68, seven day forecast stays dry until Friday when highs drop back to the 40s. This weekend, some recovery, but all eyes will be on the track of that system and that'll directly impact the highs by Sunday. The numbers here for Aberdeen, for now, we've elected to keep Aberdeen out of most of that rain. That first chance is south and east of you. And then that weekend system, we still have to see how much that's going to jog to the west. And in terms of Pier and Central South Dakota, most of the weekend, you're probably a little too far removed from that system to our east. But highs between 55 and 60 this weekend seem probable. Rapid City also a cool down on Thursday with some light rain and light snow. And then 60 on Saturday seems pretty good. After that, keep an eye on some colder weather next week. More coverage online at kettleland.com.